sequel friends. Today I am so excited. I got my first Thread Up Rescue Box and it's all shoes. As many of you guys know, I've been having some trouble sourcing shoes locally, so I decided to give Thread Up Shoe Box a try. If you want to know how much I paid for the box, how long it took to get here, and how what's in it, and how much I think I can make off of it, then please stay tuned. Hi Sequels friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Heather. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. And this channel is kind of to document the process of being a newbie reseller. So if you're interested in reselling content, please do subscribe below. And um, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you have back again, thank you so much. I so much appreciate you for returning to my channel. So I am really, really thrilled about today. We are doing a Thread Up Rescue Box. So if you've been tuning into my channel or you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been having some trouble sourcing shoes in my area. Um, and shoes have been moving for me really well and I do not have the right inventory ratio. So I thought now's time to go and try this Thread Up Rescue Box. So it cost me $120. I got 25 pairs of shoes. I think that worked out to roughly $4.80 a pair, which is right in line with what I would pay at regular price at my Goodwill. So I'm super happy with that. Um, it took about a little under two weeks to get to me. I do have to admit that I have already opened the box because I got one this past weekend and then another one arrived a couple days later and I thought, oh, how many boxes are coming? So I did go through all of them to um, count and make sure I got everything before I did the video. And then also I figured since I did go ahead and sneak a peek, then it would be worthwhile for me to do some research and do a total of how much um, I think I can sell this for. So stay tuned to the end and I will give you those numbers and I say let's get into this haul. So, um, I have a really tiny space here, so I think I'm just gonna grab out of the box and throw some to the side. I already have some that I couldn't fit back in the box because packing the box is like closing a map for anybody who's old enough to remember what a map is. <laughs> so, let's just get started. I have this pair out because <laughs> I'm so in love. I should like work up to this, like, but I can't. I'm just too excited about it. So, first pair up great pump they are Giorgio Armani and they have a gray and tan Armani logo super adorable um, career wear pump very very pleased to find Armani in my box um, like I said next up a very cute suede booty stretch easy slide on nice block heel um, these are a brand I had not heard of before, and they are called Coolway. Very stylish, great with jeans, great with um, dresses. Let's make sure that they don't touch our mom. All right, we'll start the stack. Okay, very volatile, Los Angeles brand. Um, 90s. Western Mule. They're this interesting, like, flecked, almost like a patent leather. I thought maybe they were damaged, but when I looked at it, that's the style, that's what they look like. Um, I was hoping to get a good amount for this brand, but it doesn't seem like it really goes for too much. But style-wise, I'm happy to put those in my shop. Holy cow, I bet you that was so loud. I will try to be better about that. Um, these are Anne Klein, and I love the um, chocolate brown, like a Mary Jane, almost like a, a take on a saddle shoe, but in a heel. Again, perfect career wear. These are in great condition. So far, everything, those vo very volatile look definitely worn. The first two pairs look brand new, and these look almost like they came from a store. They have a little bit of wear on the inside, um, like they've been in a store location, and then they still have those um, shoe stickers on it like you would see at TJ Maxx. These are Jack Rogers. 
um, thong flip-flops. These do retail for a significant amount of money, but as per most everything on Poshmark, the um, selling prices are all over the place. So sometimes I don't know if people don't know what they have or they just want to get rid of it and they don't care. I will try to get some money for these. Basic, great summer shoe or year round for my Floridian peeps. This is the bummer of the box. Um, divided. It's an H&M brand. The shoes are adorable, little slide faux suede, um, but they retail for about $18. So um, I'm not sure. They do look new. I may try to sell them for $10. If they fit me, I would have just kept them, but they do not. Sizes, again, are all over the place. They did give me from some fringe sizes, so I have up to as large as 11. Um, I have a decent amount of 10s, and I also got some 6s, and um, then things are in between. But fringe sizes don't scare me. Um, I do fairly well with fringe sizes, so we'll see how that goes. These I love. Maiden Lane. Not sure you can see that, because I filmed a late afternoon on a cloudy day. Um, just adorable for that. If you're into the monochromatic dressing, a little bit of a minimalist vibe. Easy, easy, easy. Um, we got coach, baby. What a great sling back. Looks like a, a the Miranda. These are a size 11. They do fit like 11. I'm a 10 and they were too big for me. These do have some, they look worn. They have some dirt in the inside. They have some cleaning up to do. This is easy cleanup. Easy, easy cleanup. I can make those look new, no problem. Not too shabby like those. These, for the life of me, I have searched and searched and searched, and I cannot figure out what the style is. There's a very similar style, that's, but it's an espadrille, and this is a stacked. They are um, Michael for Michael Kors. Platform with this cool zipper detail. Some summertime shoes, clearly, so hopefully we have some fashionistas who like to wear their shoes with socks. Socks are trending big time, so it would be super cute to put some of these um, shoes with socks. Or I got some Floridians or some um, vacationers because we do have a good amount of sandals in here. Espadrille wedges. This is, um, I hadn't heard of this brand either. It is Callisto of California. I don't know if it's a real suede or a faux suede, cork wedge, espadrille, platform. And then these, again, summery, but these would look awesome with some funky socks and um, those cropped jeans where they're fringed. Ugh, they are Dolce Vita. Bright white cork platform wedge. Not too shabby. All right, box number two. Can't beat them. Chuck All Stars. These things look brand new. They are men's, um, size nine. Brent is trying them around the house um, and he may keep them if he likes them. If he doesn't wear a lot of shoes that don't have um, support in them, so they may end up going in the shop. We've got Tom's. So wine, suede, um, uh, like a snake pattern suede. And these are a little six. Love those, that wine color is so popular. These are, again, sandals. I can't see what they say. 
Oh yeah, this is um, Ross Hammerson. See, it helps to do your spreadsheet beforehand because now you can kind of remember some of them. I hadn't heard of this brand. It retails for a decent amount. These look to me like a um, transitional comfort shoe, but the lime green is pretty. It's Velcro closure sandal. I saw the blue bottoms. Even Brent, when I went through the box, he doesn't know that much about brands, but he goes, I watched that video and they told me that when I see the blue bottom in the bins, I get it. So we did get Teeks. They, um, I think this is the ballerina pink color. As you can see in the inside, they are well um, worn. It's pretty dirty in there. The outside can use some clean up. Um, I just went onto their website and they said wash it with a toothbrush and some dish soap. So we're gonna start there and try that and see if we can make those look new. But you guys know the retail value on these. Man, I can't get over that you can get so much money for those. They do not decrease from retail value. Um, love these. They are um, BC footwear. And I think this is the um, vegan line. Um, I thought that they are super cute. Big chunky heel. Um, this lace up detail and then it has this double buckle. If I remember correctly, these were sold in Anthropology. They're called the Poetry MC Booties. Um, I was actually going to think that they would get a decent amount, but I think there's too much out there because they were only going for about 30 bucks. And super disappointed because these are the pretty well worn. I don't know if it's because of the quality of the vegan leather, but they do have some chips and peels in that, and I don't know if that's something that I'm going to be able to correct, so I think we're just gonna have to take the hit on that one. These, oh, love them. M. Jemmy, I don't know if I'm pronouncing half of these brands right. <laughs> when you only read brands online, it's like you don't know how to say anything. <laughs> love these. Um, they're a leather and then they're um, woven and just casual sneaker. Isn't that like a great dress up, dress up and outfit sneaker? And again, if you're into that monochromatic kind of minimalist look, oh, those would be wonderful. Um, these are Clarks. They are, um, let me just put the buckle back in so you can see how they sit. They're metallic. Again, another espadrille wedge heel. They're the Clark's um, ultimate comfort. I hear a lot of people say that Clark's sell well for them. I've had a pair of slide Clark's since I opened my store before I even got serious about it back in March and nobody could give a flip about them. <laughs> um, I don't know if these may, they may enjoy a little bit more because of the espadrille quality or the um, metallic, but we'll try them. We'll try them. These, again, kind of like the H and H and M, huh, whatever. You get some um, ho hums in the box. I'm trying to see if I can pull them up because I feel like they went for, yeah, I figured maybe like $29 or something. They're just Worthington, which I believe is, um, JC Penny brand. Oh my goodness, they match my nail polish. It came in this month's Ipsy bag. Um, I don't remember this. Yeah, they're sevens. It's nice. Um, almost kind of a 90s career heel with the strapping right here. Red patent. Nice big. Um, a tall heel, but a nice width on it so they'd be easy to walk in. These, I love, 
They are another one that need a little bit cleaning up. They are Kohlhan. Again, not too freaking shabby. Um, this lovely wine color, um, and they are like a patent with the matching suede, but, and tassels. A pointy toe, again, giving me 90s vibes with these. Um, they did have on some of them, I got one of those suede brushes to try to clean them up. There's some dirty markings on them around here. Um, and they're kind of misshapen. I don't know if they're storing them in boxes or if that's just from the travel, so I think I may stuff them a little bit so at least they retain their shape, but not too bad. While we're on the Cole Haan kick, this is a popular style. Of course, I'm not gonna remember the name of it. Let's see if I can find them. It's the Air Erica Penny Loafers. Oh, I should totally put Penny in there for them, for the pictures. Um, patent leather Penny Loafers, and they got the Comfort um, soles and um, the Nike Air technology. Cool for the prep, preppy ensemble. There's a lot of um, really fun um, men's inspired looks going on right now. These would pair well with. And be super comfortable. We got some Enzo mm, Agolini. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I remember when this brand used to mean something. It doesn't really anymore. Um, if they sell, it'll be based on the style. Again, total 90s vibes with these. Love them. Chunky uh, heel, nice big heel. Um, suede, which looks good for um, fall, winter, and then this fun little leather, and it's almost like um, a croc leather, embossed leather. Again, you need to do some menswear inspired and then make the heels like girly. Or, oh my gosh, give me Rachel Green vibes with these shoes, a plaid mini skirt and a black turtleneck. <sighs> Living for it. All right, three more folks. We got Stuart Weitzman in the flesh. Now, I don't know if these are like um, just summertime or bridal or um, what they do. Again, if you can see that in the pictures, they need some cleanup. We'll do magic eraser or Lysol wipes or something to get that cleaned up. But I love uh, this um, turquoise detail with all of the, um, the rhinestones and everything. Little kitten heel. So again, Florida, Arizona, my Southern friends, who's taking a cruise, who's going on vacation. Or like I said, I mean, these get kind of a bridal feel to them too. So happy with those. And we just have two more left and they are similar in appearance. They are both laser cut um, suede booties. These are, um, let me open that up so you can see, Ignigo Road. Mm -hmm. There we go. They have a Velcro closure. Nice thick stacked heel, laser cut, that open peep toe. I don't know, I would still consider those booties since they cover up a lot of the foot. Um, these are an eight and a half. Adorable. I have a vintage dress that these would match perfectly. If you're in my shop and you wear a size 20 dress and you have a size eight and a half foot, these go together so well with the Florentine dress. If I can put my nine and a half to 10 in it, I'll do a photo shoot because I do have that dress plan to do a photo shoot um, just to show you how you can modernize the vintage. Those would look really cute with it. And last pair i mean seriously guys is it just me am i just excited am i trying to be thrilled because i spent 120 bucks and i don't want to be disappointed with my buy or did i get some nice shoes do they just give the newbies all the good stuff so they can entice you to come in and get another box 
Because if so, it worked. I'm going to come for another box. $40 jewelry. Um, rescue box. I'm looking at you. These are... Um, <laughs> is it Muse and Cloud? Adorable little booty. Again, laser cut. It's got the Velcro closure, a pointed toe, flats. Easy, carefree booty. That's it, guys. That's 25 pairs. So like I said, it's a pretty good assortment. We got Toms. We got Teeks. We got Giorgio Armani. A um, few pairs of Cole Haan, Some Stuart Weitzman. Really happy about those. The other ones that aren't very high-end brand names are... Um, Still pretty good styles um, <clears throat> that I would think that just on the fun factor, I should see, get some money for them. And then on top of everything else, like I said, I'm just having a really, really hard time finding shoes in my area. So now I have some shoes to put in my shop. So even if they're not the best and the most high end, as long as I can get some going in my shop to where I could get a little bit of money up for them, I would be happy. Not at the so, high. So if you guys watch my videos and you know me, I have a pretty decent range of what I think things are gonna go for. But like I said, the box cost me 120. I did get, um, they must have had a free shipping deal on it because I tried to go get a jewelry box and it costs, it was gonna cost me shipping. So I said, I'm gonna wait <laughs> and see if they offer free shipping again. Um, so like I said, it cost me $120. Um, the price per shoe comes out to $4.80, right in line with Goodwill. And I feel like I'm just procrastinating, building up the tension. Um, what I think I'm going to get for them, anywhere from $850 to about $1,300. So am I happy with my box? You're damn right I'm happy with my box. Am I probably gonna sign up for it again? You're damn right I'm gonna sign up for it again. I'm gonna have to be disappointed by a couple of boxes to not wanna keep doing this. Um, I've watched tons of videos on thread up boxes and I know some people love them, some people hate them, some people say it's total crapshoot. Um, I feel like I'm getting my money's worth. Now having said that, all this shit needs to sell. Because <laughs> if it doesn't sell, it doesn't matter what it's worth on paper. So I got a lot of freaking photographing to do. I cleared through my death pile in anticipation of this happening. So I am going to get to um, photography. I plan on having all of these shoes, or most all of these shoes. I don't want to list like crazy. I usually list just a certain number of items a day, but I you will start to see some of these shoes in my closet. And if there's any that you're interested in, you have any questions, you want to know about sizing and you don't see them in my closet, then by all means, comment below, ask me, reach out. If you want them, come and get them. So if you enjoyed this video haul, um, then please, by all means, do give me a thumbs up, do subscribe. Um, if you're interested in these thread up boxes, I do think I'm gonna be doing more in the future. So um, like this video to let me know that you wanna see more thread up holes. Um, and again, to all my returning people, thank you so much for coming here and thank you so much for the support. I know this video is a little longer than usual since we are doing whole videos, but I hope that you made it to the end. <laughs> you do a little fast forwarding in between there and just look at, look at the shoes and then come to the end and hear the total amounts. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> or I would have it on in the background while I was listing items. <laughs> But if you stuck it through, thank you so much. And as you may know, I list videos every Friday. Um, so please subscribe and you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. So thanks so much, guys. I'm off to list. Till next time, friends. Bye.